All right. Hey, so peeps, I am walking in my yard and this is usually what I deal with during the rain. Just um, living at the end of a hill and all the water draining into my yard. This is a typical after the rain thing, but the rain also helps all the plants. My little pollinator area, they have a little trickle of water and the water is gonna run all the way down the hill that's behind my house. But um, yeah, we haven't gotten a chance to really redo the pollinator garden. And usually what I do is I remove the bottles and rake back the leaves and add some more compost to it. But hopefully um, we get a break in the rain and I can get that done. This is my tomatoes. And let me see what I could walk around and show you. That is my beautiful rhubarb Swiss chard. Look at that, isn't that gar gorgeous? And there's a pink one over there and I have a few more growing in different spots. This is one of my, I think this is the bed I just planted. And I see over there that I have a bloom on my lemon tree. So, boom. Let's see if we get some more. That is my corn. And this is my first ever blackberry bush. A friend of mine gave me a cutting and that baby is growing. My dwarf moringa was took for growing. Forever, forever to come up. But she doing okay. That's that stream of water. And my little potato patch. I am excited and nervous all at the same time as to if I'm going to have anything. So I have these that have sort of died back. The ones in the hay bales that came up are fully yellow, but I'm gonna give it a couple more weeks. This is my other blackberry bush which was a gift. All three of the ones that I have were gifts. Um, I don't know what name this one is and we just wanna see what it does. This is a front view of the bed. Uh, ooh, look like I need to be harvesting some more oregano and I actually dug some out and I have some flowers planted in there because I thought that would be a beautiful contrast but we'll see what's gonna happen. And I have some carrots that I actually transplanted. I don't know if they're going to do anything or not. We will see. You never know. It's good when you garden and you have a lot of seeds. Because you can experiment and play with stuff. And on these arches that I made out of my ladder mesh, I have some watermelons. Some mini watermelons growing in the greenhouse. And I'm going to add one on each side in both of my flower beds. And grow some melons across the bed so everything looks good so far so good let me go on the other side all right this is the other bed we took out all the wood and everything looks good over here um they kind of mirror each other i have some swiss char i have some swiss charge seedlings growing um i planted a few of them but i only see a couple of them that are still there i'm gonna have to drop some more seed and some onion and everything pretty much mirrors it so everything looks good. And we're still waiting for those watermelon seedlings to come up to plant on each side. I'm gonna do sugar baby watermelons. Um, they did really good in small containers. All right, I have some cucumbers planted over here. And my peas are petering out, but I am letting that happen. And I'm not harvesting on purpose because I'm trying to increase my seed stock, which is getting low. So I'm just gonna sacrifice these. I did harvest a nice amount of them. And I'm gonna just let these dry out and be my next seeds. It's hard to just not pick them, but the sacrifice is gonna be worth it. I also have some herbs growing. There's some basil. This is chamomile and uh, lemongrass. I really need another bird bath it has bit the dust but we'll wait and see what we can get later all right this is the other side it's pretty much the same and this is my poppies um hopefully we get some poppies before it gets too hot 
and I planted tomatoes over here. There's about five little cherry tomatoes that's going to grow here. So when the peas are finished, we're going to cut these out and then we're going to train these cherry tomatoes to grow up the trellis. And then on both sides here, we have sunflowers and we have sora hibiscus. And in my little cans, um, these are some zinnias that just popped up in the yard and I just put them in here. These are bachelor buttons. I never grown before. I don't know how they're going to look. And then here on this side, it's pretty much the same thing, just a different kind of sunflower and the same thing. Look at those peas. Man, it's hard to not pluck them up. Here is some herbs. This is actually beans. And I've just been letting them grow. These are a few herbs. These are some perennials that I started. And I'm just trying to let them get a little bit more girth before I um, up pot them. That's my peppermint and strawberries. This is a swamp sunflower that a friend of mine gave me. This is my not so organized tower, but I'm gonna get it together. It has some sweet potatoes growing in it, sweet potato slips, a few herbs, and ooh, I just spotted some strawberries. Okay, that one's not quite right. Let's see, this one, I better get it before somebody else get it. And there's a few over there. I'll come back out. My little strawberry area, my yarrow, and some of my mint. And so, yeah, the garden is maybe 90% together. I just have a few more, more things to do, and then I'll be done. All right, this is my berry patch. And I do have a few that's ripening. So we'll see. It's about five of them in here. And um, well, this is pink lemonade. And I don't really know the kind that this is. I got it from um, Home Depot on discount. But I do see I have a few ripening. So, yeah. That is a tour of the Garden of Eden on a rainy May morning. So, if you're not growing anything, get you a container. Put some holes in it. Put some soil in it. Plant something. Get something growing. And have a blessed day.